Hey guys, welcome back. I'm really excited because I've been waiting six months to do this video for you. This is the Overland Models review. Now we're not going to be able to go in depth like we do on a regular review because there's so many items to cover. But let's go ahead and take a look at some of these products that Overland Models has released in the last few months along with something that I can only describe as VIP. This first item is the VIP item and it's the thing I've been hinting at the last few months. This is the UP C45 ACCTE. Now you might be wondering why is that VIP? They've made them before. Well there's only 15 of these produced and I've got serial number one. This is the Boy Scout unit. Now you UP fans are probably aware that the Union Pacific took a C45 ACCTE and put the Boy Scout logo on it and dedicated to the 100 years of Boy Scouts. And this locomotive is an absolute marketing uh, licensing nightmare because there's so many licenses from the Boy Scouts that Overland Models had to coordinate with, which made the price of this locomotive something that I can't even discuss with you. I can give you a hint. Uh, I've got 10 MTH SD70 Aces and all with sound, all that I bought brand new, and all those combined with the varying uh, deals I got on them from different hobby shops still don't cover the price of this locomotive. Ten of those MTH SD70 Aces combined don't cover the price of this one locomotive. That's how much uh, this locomotive is, is costs in total. So it's a very good detailed locomotive. You've got clear print, only the best from Overland Models. They absolutely dominate the brass industry. There's nobody that comes close to Overland Models in the brass industry and you can tell by what they produce and what they import. Just awesome details, awesome paint job. This locomotive runs in DC mode. Uh, there is no DCC installed, however um, I may send it down to Lagar Technologies as the only people I trust to handle my brass and install DCC in them, especially something as pricey as this. The licensing makes it that pricey. Okay, well that's about it on this locomotive. I know it was a big uh, build up to show you just something this cool, uh, but this wasn't really available to consumers or dealers. This was by invitation only, so I'm very flattered that Overland Models would consider me and, and give me serial number one. Moving on, We've got the Overland Models Council Bluffs baggage car. Uh, this was produced and released just a few months ago. Uh, its retail value is in the mid 500s, I believe 560. There's no lighting installed on the uh, baggage cars, pa they're passenger cars. Um, this UP car is, is used for a dance car on the actual Heritage fleet, but that flag is just crisp lettering and just wonderful uh, paint scheme and clear uh, letters all the way around this car and I'm, I'm really pleased with it as well. And they're the only, Overland Models is the only people that's put this out. Uh, no plastic model uh, embodies this baggage car. Moving on we've got the Union Pacific Walter Dean. Retail value I believe is 668. Now this is a dome car. The dome car details uh, are wonderful on the roof. It's got, it does have interior lighting, however I did send it down to Lagar Technologies because the interior lighting is only DC. They've got a DCC quick plug but I wanted DCC friendly to where it would do both DCC and DC. So Lagar Technologies installed LED lights in this, um, did a great job, that's why I trust those guys to handle my expensive brass. And this is an awesome car and you may still see them out there on the market uh, but they were released a few to several months ago. Moving on, another really recent release, like in the last couple months, the UP Lone Star ba uh, business car. Now these are the VIP, you know, the, the big players of the railroad will ride on the back of these, the big brass. Uh, they ride in these cars on the back of the UP 844 consists or whatever's pulling these passenger cars. And this Overland Models uh, business car has great detail it's got uh, DC lighting, the drum head lights up, the two track inspection lights light up so that the big wigs can look at the track. And then it's got the uh, upper lighting here that lights up as well, red and green. Interior lights, uh, great detail overall. I know I sound like a broken record with the crisp lettering and the roof detail, but it's true on these Overland models. 
you know, factory installed grab irons, everything you'd expect for paying for these uh, passenger cars and locomotives. MSRP, once again, 762, I believe. Moving on, we've got the UP Idaho track inspection car. It's been released from Marvel Models for years, but I did have Lagar Technologies install DCC lighting inside of this. Uh, LED lights and those track inspection lights that you see on each corner. I had them make those DCC friendly so that I can operate those and turn them on and off independently because they were made for DC and frankly I'm a DCC modeler in a DCC world. So awesome car, you know, no real need to review that one. It's been out for years and they only pop up on eBay very rarely. As far as MSRP, I'm not sure. The last one on eBay sold for almost $800, or right at $800, and that was without any additions that I've done. Moving on, the last piece that's been modified here is the UP water tender. It used to have the words Union Pacific on the side. I had Mark Preisler up in Wisconsin do some custom work, install a flag on there, and uh, that's a three-dimensional flag. I think it's put on styrene because the real model, or the real prototype has a three-dimensional flag. It's not painted onto the actual car, it is uh, a three-dimensional piece, and I wanted that represented correctly, and he did that for me. He put Jim Adams on there because that's the car it is supposed to model, and also, uh, I know a lot of you who are UP buffs know that the UP tender is a little different in shape. Nobody's accurately done that, so I had to take this older tender and have the flag put on and have some details done to make it look good. So that's it for the Overland Models Brass review, preview, whatever you want to call it. Thanks for watching. There's more stuff to come. See you next time.